improving sample diversity of a pre-trained class conditional GAN by changing its class embeddings. Joint work between Auburn University and Adobe Research. Generative adversarial networks, GANs, specifically big GAN, have achieved the state of the art results in generating photorealistic images on ImageNet. Big GAN samples from many classes are also remarkably diverse. Yet at the same time, BigGAN produces surprisingly low diversity samples for a set of classes. For example, compared to the real photos of Windows screens, the generated sample appear unrealistic and similar. While real daisy appear in multiple colors and a variety of backgrounds, the generated images are mostly white daisies on green grass. Limited diversity can be seen in Cardoon, Airship, Nematode, and many other categories. In this research, we propose a simple yet effective method to improve sample diversity. Our method turns this set of completely unrealistic samples into a set of window screen in different lighting and poses. The generated daisy appear in a diverse set of backgrounds. Similarly, a clear improved diversity can be seen in brass or nematode sample where the subject appear in a variety of colors and shapes. Our method is simple. First, a class conditional generator typically takes as input a random noise vector and a one-called vector that is transformed into real-valued class embedding after the embedding matrix. We know that the generator is already capable of synthesized photorealistic images for many classes, and the class embeddings learned during GAN training appear to be semantically meaningful, that is, similar classes like birds appear nearby. So how to improve such low sample diversity? We propose to attach a print-trained image classifier to the output of generator and search for new class embeddings that maximize the log classification probabilities. With big-gain embeddings, the latent vectors are mapped to nearby points or limited diversity samples. Within a small neighborhood, we move the original embedding to a new point where the generated samples are more diverse. Here, the updated class embedding changes the background of daisy from green grass to brown soil. Note that the pose of flower remain the same. Effectively, with only a change in embedding, the latent vectors are remapped to more spread out points or more diverse set of samples. The sample diversity gap between the original big end sample, here green line, and the real data, here red line, is reduced by 50% using our method. The conclusion remains similar on both MS, SSM, and LPIPs. Our method also generalized to other big game models. For example, a big game at a lower resolution of 128 by 128. Compared to the real photos, big game samples can be homogeneous, but our samples are more diverse for odometer, parachute, and many other classes. The previous results were produced by using a pre-trained ImageNet BigGAN and an ImageNet classifier, which interestingly can be swapped out with a classifier trained on a different dataset, like PLACES 365. We now can turn an ImageNet sample like Quilt into a hotel room that has subtle touches of lighting and room arrangements similar to those in real hotel room photos, which the generator remarkably have never seen before. That is, the same image net generator can be repurposed to generate a sample for unseen categories like outdoor structures, beach house, buildings, and many others. In summary, our research showed that the sample diversity of big gang can be improved by only changing the embeddings. Our method generalized to other models at different resolutions. Interestingly, 
we can synthesize Blitz's 365 scene images using the big and print trained on ImageNet. Paper and the code can be found on our website. Thank you for watching.